Hello Grade 11s and welcome to this lesson on the tan cord theorem. We go straight to John who will introduce the theorem and go through the proof with us. The lesson wouldn't be the same without input from our good friend Kanya. How are you Kanya? Hello Johnny, I'm very well thanks and you? I'm in the mood for some geometry, so make yourselves comfortable. Keep a notebook and pen handy. And let's get started. What are we doing today? Another theorem? Yes, the theorem we'll look at in this lesson is often referred to as the tan chord theorem. This is what the theorem states. The angles between a tangent and a chord drawn to the point of contact of the chord are equal to the angles which the chord subtends in the alternate chord segment. Before we start proving this theorem, we need to be clear about the terminology used in this theorem statement so that we can understand what the theorem is trying to prove. Is there anything you are not clear on, Kanya? What do they mean by the angle between a tangent and a chord? I'll use a diagram to illustrate. Here is a diagram with a tangent RS and a chord AB. Now, can you identify the angle between the tangent and the chord? Angle ABS lies between the tangent and the chord. So does angle ABR. Very good, Kanye. Both angle ABS and ABR lie between the tangent and the chord. Do you see that angle ABS lies in the smaller segment of the second? Yes. And angle ABR lies in the bigger segment of the circle. Yes. Let's look at the theorem statement again. What is meant by the angles which the chord subtends in the alternate segment? Here is the diagram again. We need to create an angle in the alternate segment. This just means an angle on the other side of the chord from angle ABS. The angle must be subtended by the chord AB. So here is angle X in the alternate segment. It is subtended by chord AB. Angle Y and angle Z are also angles in the alternate segment, subtended by chord AB. Now let's go back to this diagram. We looked at angle ABS as the angle between the tangent and the chord. However, we can also talk about the bigger angle at B. The angle ABR is also an angle between the tangent and the chord. An angle in the alternate segment to angle ABR would be angle Q. Now we are ready to look at the theorem statement again. The tan chord theorem states that the angles between a tangent and a chord drawn to the point of contact of the chord are equal to the angles which the chord subtends in the alternate chord segment. So we need a circle center O with a tangent and a chord from the same point on the circle. Let's draw the chord PQ and a tangent MN to the circle at point Q. Now we need PQ to subtend angles on the circle. We will make angle X so it is in the alternate segment to angle PQN. We also need to prove this theorem for angle PQN. So we need angle Y in the alternate segment to angle PQN. To prove this theorem, we need to make a construction. We construct the diameter from a point of the chord and obviously going through the center of the circle. We'll draw a diameter QT and join P to T. Now the aim of the theorem is to prove that the angle between the chord and the tangent equals the angle in the alternate segment. In other words, that angle PYQ equals angle PQN and angle PXQ equals angle PQN. We will start by proving that angle PXQ equals angle PQM. Look at the diagram. Do you see anything that we can use? Which of the previous theorems do you think will help us? How can we use the construction to help us? Using the constructed diameter QT, 
we know that the radius is perpendicular to the tangent. So that means angle PQM plus angle TQP is 90 degrees. Do you see another angle of 90 degrees using the diameter? Angle QPT is 90 degrees because it is half the straight angle QOT. This uses the theorem that states that the angle subtended at the center equals twice the angle at the circumference. Now look at triangle QPT. If angle QPT is 90 degrees, then the sum of the other two angles in the triangle will also be 90 degrees using the sum of angles in a triangle. So the angle at T plus angle TQP equals 90 degrees. Can you see how this is helpful? It gives us angle PQM equals to angle T. Now it's an easy step from angle T to angle PHQ. They are angles in the same segment subtended by PQ. So they are equal. And that leads to the conclusion we want. Angle PXQ equals angle PQM. In other words, the angle in the alternate segment equals the angle between the chord and the tangent. We need to write this down formally before we continue to the next part of the proof. Follow the proof and the diagram as I speak. Angle PQM plus angle TQP equals 90 degrees because TQ is perpendicular to MN. Angle QPT is 90 degrees because the angle at the center is double the angle at the circumference. Therefore, in triangle QPT, the angles at Q and T add up to 90 degrees. Do you see how that leaves us with angle PQM equal to angle T? Angle T is also equal to angle PXQ because they are angles in the same segment, subtended by cot PQ. Therefore, angle PXQ equals angle PQM. Our proof is not complete yet. We need to prove that the other angle created between the tangent and the chord is equal to an angle in the alternate segment. In other words, we still need to prove that angle PQN equals angle PYQ. For this part of the proof, we can use what we have found already, that angle X equals angle PQM. Look at the tangent line MQN. Angle PQM plus angle PQN is 180 degrees because they are on a straight line. Look at the cyclic quad PYQX. We know that angles X plus Y are supplementary. So they add up to 180 degrees. So we can say that the two angles on the straight line equal the two angles of the cyclic quad. Does this help us? Yes, definitely, because we already have an angle X equal to angle PQM. This leaves us with an angle PQN equal to angle Y. In other words, the angle in the alternate segment equal to the angle between the tangent and the chord. Wow, that was quite a proof, John. Just to say it one more time, all together. The angle between the tangent and the chord is equal to the angle the chord subtends in the alternate segment. Don't you sound clever when you say that all in one go? Remember that you can be asked to prove the tan chord theorem, so make sure you know it well. You can find questions in the task video that will help you to practice these skills. You will also be able to learn more about circle geometry on our website www.mindset.co.za forward slash learn. Thank you for joining us Grade 11s.